a lot of people. Oh, been a while, hasn't it? It's, uh, what, two, three months since it's uploaded? It's all about that. But uh, sometimes life gets in the way. So, fishing unfortunately has to come second to life, and that's what's happened the last couple of months. One thing and another, work, COVID. It's, uh, yeah, much to my disappointment of not being out on the bank. But today, that's changed. Come out, got the little one with me. I say Lytton is quite big now, but uh, he's come over, he's brought his whip over and a cart on the maggots. And now I'm going to have a little go see if I can whip the carp out. It's a beautiful day, sun is shining and it's looking good for a bite. Already had a couple of little knocks, so fingers crossed we might actually get one on the bank for you. Did pop out a couple of weeks ago, done a sort of short day session. And uh, yeah, let's just say it ended in a blank. I didn't film it, didn't even bring the cameras with me. So, uh, it's just one of them. I popped over, one of my mates was in a swim next door and we just got on and neither of us had sod all. So, I'm over on the syndicate. Let's see what this one brings. Hopefully, we'll have a fish. We'll catch you in a bit. You gotta just go for it. Don't think about what comes after or what came before. First blood goes to Dano. Nice one, mate. Yes. So, hopefully, there's a few more where they come from, eh? Yep. yep. Get that rod back in the water. Slip this one back. So, just to bring you up to speed, we are all set up. Um, Three rods out, giving it a good old bash. We're sitting here watching the water. Dan's already had a couple of decent roach. Uh, I've admitted defeat, put the shelter up. As uh, it is lovely day, sun is shining, but that wind is absolutely taters, mate. Sitting here, it's lovely and warm on the front, freezing cold on the back. The wind is howling through this swim, and uh, yeah, Dan's freezing his little nudges off over there, bless him. Oh no, I'm hiding. So I've got one up on the back of the island. Uh, it's in about six foot of water. Sort of hoping for anything sort of passing through. Didn't want to go too shallow. Um, so yeah, just hoping to say it's going to pass through with the sun beaming down in this up this end of the lake. Lovely. Got one sort of just off of where the pads will be in a couple of months when they come up. And that's in about four foot of water. And then I've got one out in sort of open water which is in about eight foot of water. So we're covering various depths. I have seen, just a minute ago, seen a nice fish roll on the surface. So it's looking like I might have to go and get the zigs out and give them a go. Never done any good on them in this, uh, on this lake, but it's looking like I might have to give them a go due to weather conditions and seeing that fish roll. So yeah, I'll come back to you. And let you know. Well, for me, defeat. Zig one's going on. Bit of black, bit of yellow. Uh, well, fox zig aligner, size eight hook, and a bit of yellow foam. Nothing too exciting. Just gonna uh, dip it in a bit of something smelly, and uh, yeah, see what happens. Get it out. I'll keep you posted in a bit. Nice one, mate. Yeah. Little slab for roach. It's a minnow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bigger than anything you've caught today. Right, I'll take that one on the chin. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's cool. go. Put him back in the water before you suffocate him. Yep. Shall I push him in for that comment? Okay. <laughs> Give him a push, really. Managed to sneak a crafty one out. I did uh, have a little change up on that right rod again. Took the zig off, stuck a uh, stiff hinge on, little yellow pop up for a cock ball, and uh, yeah, in he come. Could have been out there an hour or so, just saying to change it up. Nice shallow water on the far bank away from everyone, and uh, this little bad boy slipped up. 
is a well-known fish. He's, uh, he's a common face on this bank to say the least. And he's uh, one of the uglier fish, bless him. Not got the prettiest of mouth, but well happy with him. He's a blank saver and uh, finally shut my boy up because he's been catching roach all day. So nice to have a little bit to get back at him. He's stood smiling behind the camera at me. So I'm going to slip him back and uh, get the rod back out and hope we're going to have another one. But for me, this has absolutely made my trip. that late afternoon update kind of time four o'clock managed to fish did you see it oh what a stunner there yeah it's not the prettiest thing in the lake but my god has it made my fishing trip after the blank last time finally get out and get one in the net happy days um yeah not a lot else to report really had a little rebate on the left rod swung that back out and uh yeah, rods remain motionless. The only thing that's making a load of bloody racket at the minute is them poxy geese. They've turned up and I think it's mating season because they're a pain. They're now making a load of racket. Shut up! Don't listen to me, mate. I can't talk goose. Um, yeah, anyway, just thought I'd give you a little update. Let you know, no, not a lot's happening. Sun's gone in, clouds come over. Probably give it another hour or so and look at packing up and getting home. Little and sitting down there stomping out one of Chuck and uh, showing me how it's done, so yeah. Oh well. Always next time. Next weekend it is. Come and join the uh, mad bucket rush. I'll see you there. Well, party people, it is officially over. I'm packed up and I'm going home. Uh, it's been totally emotional. Thanks for your company. As usual, it's been great. Uh, if only could, one of you could have prayed for a fish for me, I could have had another one, but you didn't. Um, yeah, that's about it really. It's a wrap. And uh, I suppose I'll see you in a couple of weeks. I am out next weekend doing a full stretch. Uh, yeah. Party's over, we're going home. Catch you in a bit. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Stop being tight and press it. Don't cost nothing. And uh, if you could give it a like, I'd be most grateful. Ciao for now.